Welcome. The Google team is excited to inform you of a new building block that has been added to Google Docs. You can now create your own custom building blocks inside Google Docs. This new building block allows you to save text, tables, chips, and etc. and reuse those components in new documents or over and over in the same document. This gives you the capability of reusing the great content that you've already created and no need to think outside the box when you're starting from scratch. So let's go ahead and dive deeper about this amazing update. As you can see, I'm currently in Google Docs and I have already taken the time to create a customized table, something that I need for my business needs. With that, now I want to incorporate the new update using the new created customize building block. So let's go ahead and do so. As always, Google likes to provide us numerous ways to do the same task. You can go to insert, building blocks, and select custom building block. The other option, which I think is a little more user-friendly, is highlight the content, the snippet, the area, the text, whatever it is that you want to reuse over and over. I'm gonna go ahead and select this particular area because that is the content I want to use for my new building block. Once I've highlighted that area, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm going to select save a custom building block. Once I click save as custom building blocks, first thing I need to do is name that custom building block. Now, this is when the name is kind of more important than just random text. What does it really mean to you? Because you're going to pull this custom building block when you need to reuse it and that name is going to be important. So let's go ahead and call it project tracker is how I think of this particular table that I've created. I also encourage you for future to fill out a description but for today I'm just going to go ahead and name it and click create. Now I would review this GIF the first time using the custom building blocks just to make sure you understand what's going on. This is a letting you know when you insert or edit, you can find your custom building block by using the app menu. You can also click on open saved block, or you can obviously click got it. So it's trying to assist you through this process, especially the first time creating a custom building block. So let's go ahead and click got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to add it into a brand new document. I'm going to go ahead and just use my favorite shortcut, docs.new, and I'm going to now name the document as example2, and I'm going to now use the at search menu as the GIF showed earlier and add the custom building block. Now remember, the name is important. So I can type in project tracker and you will see there is an option to select project tracker, which is one of my brand new custom building blocks. Now I can go and select the pencil and go back to the project tracker and update that particular building block. I can also preview it if I choose to, or I can just select it and have it be inserted inside my example two document. I'm gonna go ahead and do so, and you can see then it is project name, description, and status, and I don't have to go find that document, copy and paste it, put it in there. Now, if I wanted to, I can, insert that again inside here by going the app menu and typing project tracker and clicking on it and selecting it will insert it again. However, I want to show you that you can actually edit the custom building block as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the pencil and it will bring up the project tracker, which is actually an app of the custom building block. So let's say, for example, I decide for my future, custom building blocks. I don't want it to say project name, I want it to say project. So I'm making an adjustment to my template. So we know Google automatically likes to save things. Nothing needs to be done. I can just go ahead and close this and move on. So now I am back to example two. And I just wanna show you now that we've updated that particular template in a sense, or that custom building block, I wanna now insert it inside here. And I still have named it project tracker and I'm going to go ahead and insert it. Now remember, I changed the project name to say project and description is now smaller in text. And you can see that has changed, but notice the first one has not, right? It only gonna change my future inserts. There are more ways to manage and adjust your building blocks, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more example and then I'll show you how to manage your custom building blocks. 
I'm going to go to a different document and I'm just going to show you how I plan on using this because this fits my business needs and I'm sure there's other people that it will actually apply to them as well. So I use Google Drawing as well, which I have mentioned in many other trainings that Google Drawing is a hidden gem. You can actually insert Google Drawing right directly inside your Google Docs and then have the tools to annotate. So with that being said, a lot of times I have to copy and paste and then select it and do that and rinse and repeat and it just kind of gets kind of time consuming. So I'm going to actually use this feature, the new custom building block, to make my life a lot easier. So a lot of times I will insert a Google Drawing as shown and then I have the instructions above it. So what I'm going to actually do is highlight that content and reuse it. I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to select save custom building block and I'm going to call it Google Drawing Starter. And I again would strongly encourage doing a description for now I'm going to click create and it's going to give me that nice little gif to remind me how this process works. Awesome. But we're going to click got it. And now think about it. Step two. All I need to do is insert that new building block, which is Google Drawing Starter. And voila, I'm ready for step two. I'm going to renumber it. And I'm going to write my instructions because it's customized. And now I just insert a brand new picture. And voila, I am done. So I can just quickly no longer need to copy and paste or I can use this in a different one. Last thing I want to mention is you can manage your custom building blocks by going to insert building blocks and you'll notice under custom building blocks, you will then have the option to select manage custom building blocks. When you do that, you will notice it will take you directly to Google Drive. When you create your very first custom block, it will create a folder as well called custom blocks. Let me go ahead and make sure you can navigate that. You can go to your My Drive and you will see custom building blocks. So again, if you need to remove one, you can always right click and delete it and then it'll no longer appear. If you ever need to make an adjustment, go ahead and just open it up, make the tweaks that are needed for that particular custom building block. And then for future inserts, it will be represented with the new changes. With that, this is an exciting update for sure. I'm excited to test it out and use it more frequently, but I do think it will take a little time. With that, I do strongly encourage you to check all additional resources posted below to learn more about this update. Thank you.